Hey everybody, welcome back to Reconvert. This is Eric and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add a product upsell to your thank you pages. In order to get started, first head over into the app dashboard and select your preferred funnel. If you don't have any funnels, just click here to create a new funnel. And if you're not sure how to handle the funnel editor, there is a video inside. I already have an active funnel, so I'm just going to click on edit right next to the default funnel. This is the funnel editor. Again, if you want to learn more about how to use the funnel editor, just click here to watch this help video. The next step would be to head over to the relevant thank you page you would like to edit. As you can see, I already have a thank you page in here. I can either delete it or just edit it. By clicking the edit button, I'm going to open the thank you page editor. As you can see, this is an empty thank you page. Now all I have to do is to decide whether I want to add my product upsell to the right side of the page or to the left side of the page. Let's say that I want to add it to the right side of the page. I'm just going to click the right area, add section, scroll down to find the product upsell, click on it, then click add. As you can see, the product upsell was added to the right side of the page. Now let's go through all of the settings of the product upsell. Let's start with the offer title and start by giving it a name. This is an internal name. Your customers will not see this, but you will see it later on the dashboard with some analytics attached to it. So let's just call it upsell one. The next thing you'll have to configure is the widget title. As you can see in here, you can choose whether or not to put it at the top or at the bottom of the widget. And you can also control the background color, which by default is transparent, but you can completely customize it however you want. Let's get it back in here. I'm just going to keep it back at the top. The next section would be product options. And this is really the core of the product. First, which product we are going to display. By default, it's going to display the most expensive product purchased, which we highly recommend keeping, but you can use any of the following options. The most expensive product purchased, you can use cheapest product purchased, Shopify product recommendations, which requires no further integration. It's just going to use the Shopify algorithm to display relevant products. Or you can use any of the following apps, Recomatic, Rebuy, Personal personalized recommendations and wider to display recommended product based on their algorithm. It's important to mention that in order to use any of these four integrations, you'll have to have the relevant app installed on your store. Another option you'll have is to select a specific product. Now, for all of the other options, you're just going to see skeleton data about the product because we don't really know which product is going to be displayed. Specifically, when selecting specific product, all of the product information is going to be displayed whenever you select the relevant product. Perfect. You can see the product title, you can see the price, compare to price if there are any variants, Let's just change it to a product with variant so you can see it. You're going to be able to see the variant selection and the quantity picker. Now I'm going to get it back to the most expensive product purchase because this is what we recommend. Now, in case you select a dynamic product, you have the option to choose an exclusion tags, which means if there are specific products you don't want to include in this offer, you just need to name them by tag and make sure they include this tag. So you can say no upsell hit comma. And now each product that have this tag will not be displayed on this offer. If a product do have this tag, what would you like to happen? You can either display an alternative product and then you'll need to select a specific product or you can just hide the widget. It's completely up to you. Moving on to the next section, product layout. By default, we display the large size upsell, but you can change it to a medium size or a small size. I'm just going to keep it back at medium. Moving on to the product title. If you chose a dynamic product and you keep this empty, then the product title will be displayed, but you can always have your own touch to it. Something like and again, if I'm going to delete it, it's just going to stay empty and show the product title. The next option would be the main product image. You can either display the main product image according to Shopify or just upload a custom image. I'm just going to keep the main product image according to Shopify. Then sold out text, quantity picker. This will allow customers to buy more than one item. You can disable this option, but I'm going to keep it. And the same for variant selection. You can choose to disable this option or keep it. I'm just going to keep it. Moving on to star review integration. We support any of the following apps, Looks, Review, Judge Me, Stamp.io and Ali Reviews to display star reviews below the product title in order to increase click-through rate and conversion rates. You can click here to set it up and there is a help video that's going to show you how to set it up from the general settings page. I will skip this for the sake of the tutorial. The next section would be a discount. You can choose whether to use an automated discount or a pre-made discount. A pre-made discount is just a discount you create from the Shopify dashboard and you can paste it here. Make sure this is something we do not recommend 
because if you do so, we are not able to add this product to the original order. We'll have to create a new order and it's going to add some steps to the checkout and more friction, therefore reduce the conversion rate. So again, we recommend using an automatic discount that we generate for you. You can choose either free shipping, percentage discount, fixed amount per unit sold, which means if the customer bought multiple units of the same upsell, it will get multiple times the discount or fixed amount for the entire order, which means even if you bought multiple items, it will get the same amount of discount. I'm just going to keep it at percentages and I'm going to set it up for 20% discount. You can also choose to only apply this discount to products with value over a specific amount. I'm just going to leave it empty and you can add a discount prefix so that the random code will come up after a word that is relevant for the offer. So we can say special and then a random code. I'm just going to keep it this way. And you also have the option to apply free shipping. I'm just going to skip it for now. After selecting the discount, you can now choose whether or not to display the product compared to price, product price and product price, including the discount. You can also control the size and color of these prices. I'm just going to keep it as it is. And we'll move on to the next section, which is the timer. You can choose whether or not to activate the timer. If you disable it, it's going to look like this. And if you enable it, it's going to look like this. You can control the timer text and then you'll have to choose the display settings. You can display the timer on every impression, display it once per customer or display it once per order. I'm just going to keep it on every impression. Next, you'll have to choose the duration of the timer. By default, it's going to be set to five minutes, but you can really customize it and add days and hours. Next, we got the timer style. We have four different styles. In each one of them, the settings might be a little bit different, but it's completely up to you to choose which one you prefer most and style four. I'm just gonna get it back to style number one. Then you can play with the colors and choose the position. You can display it below the widget or above the widget. And on the text position, you can choose it to the left side, the right side or below. I'm just gonna keep it to the left side. And then you got the text next to the duration. If you keep it empty, which I recommend, it's just going to display the time this way, which I think looks better. So I'm just gonna keep it this way. And then expiry settings, you need to decide what happens once the timer runs out. You can either do nothing, which is the default. You can remove the discount. You can hide the widget completely, or you can gray out the widget. No matter what you choose, you can also add text after the offer is expired and you can preview the expired offer. It's going to look like this. I'm just gonna preview the live offer again. The final step would be to control the buy now button. You can control the text and the colors of the button. Once it's done, you can hit save. And now the product upsell is active on your thank you page. This is it. You now have a product upsell displayed on your thank you page, displaying the same product purchased with an additional 20% discount limited to one minute. You now know everything you need to know about how to set up your product upsell on your thank you page with reconvert. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our live chat support team at the bottom right corner of the screen. If you like the video, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you know whenever I release new video and we'll see you on the next video.